Hello everyone, myself Pinkat. Today we are going to start hyper conjugation or no bond resonance. Yes, okay. Let's start with the hyper conjugation. What does mean hyper conjugation? See, the delocalization of a sigma bond adjacent to pi bond is called as hyper conjugation. What does mean? The delocalization of sigma bond adjacent to pi bond is called as hyperconjugation. See, or when CH sigma electrons are in conjugation bond, this conjugation is known as sigma CH pi conjugation. Yes, it's shown by highly polar compounds like CH or CX. That means CH3, CX3. Okay, yes. Let's I am giving one example for this. Okay. See, in this CH bond, CH sigma bond, CH sigma bond, this carbon undergoes sp2 hybridization, this carbon undergoes sp3 hybridization. Yes sp2 and sp3 sp2 carbon attached with sp3 carbon is a alpha carbon what does mean at alpha carbon carbon which is attached to sp2 carbon sp2 carbon is called alpha carbon alpha carbon attached with hydrogens are alpha hydrogens these are alpha hydrogens yes okay see what does mean so the sigma CH electrons are in conjugation are in conjugation this is known as sigma CH pi conjugation yes sigma CH pi conjugation okay let's see I am taking one example for this okay for example Yes, sp2 carbon, sp3 carbon. Okay, in this CH sigma bond, this pi bond shifted to this carbon, and this sigma bond shifted to this carbon. Okay, what happened here? Carbon carbon having double bond, and this carbon having the negative charge. Yes. Again, what happened? Shifting of this hydrogen. Next, shifting of this hydrogen. So, okay. Next, shifting of this hydrogen. One, two, three. These are hyperconjugative structures. Hyper conjugation structures or canonical structures. chemical structures yes next what is the condition for the hyperconjugation let's see what are the condition for the hyperconjugation next condition for hyperconjugation okay
condition for hyperconjugation. The first condition compound should have at least one sp2 carbon one sp2 carbon or sp2 hybrid carbon carbon of either alkene alkyl carbocation or alkyl free radical yes compound should have at least one sp2 hybrid carbon of either alkene alkyl carbocation alkyl free radical okay this is the first condition what is the second condition alpha carbon with alpha carbon with respect to sp2 carbon sp2 carbon contains at least one hydrogen what does mean alpha carbon with alpha hydrogen okay already i am giving the definition of alpha carbon yes what is alpha carbon carbon which is which is attached to sp2 carbon that carbon attached with the hydrogen is a alpha hydrogen okay these are the condition for the hyperconjugation okay yes next types of hyperconjugation okay next types of hyperconjugation hyperconjugation are three types upper conjugation are three types what are they what are they the first one the very first one hyper conjugation are three types the first one sigma ch pi conjugation sigma ch pi conjugation it occurs in alkenes only okay it occurs alkenes it occurs in alkenes sigma ch pi conjugation occur alkenes let's take example okay ch3 ch double bond ch2 it is a propene okay this carbon undergoes sp2 hybridization this carbon undergoes sp3 carbon sp3 sp3 carbon means this carbon is alpha carbon it contain how many alpha hydrogen three alpha hydrogen three alpha hydrogen with pi bond it shows sigma ch pi conjugation yes okay let's take next example ch3 ch ch3 ch double bond ch2 this carbon undergoes sp2 this carbon undergoes sp3 it is alpha carbon alpha carbon with hydrogen yes it undergoes alpha ch pi conjugation okay how many alpha alpha hydrogens are present only one alpha hydrogen are present okay next look at this compound ch3 CH3, CH3, CH double bond CH2. It undergoes sp2 hybridization. Yes, it undergoes sp3 carbon, but there is no alpha hydrogen. Alpha carbon is there, but no alpha hydrogen. It has no alpha hydrogen. It has no alpha hydrogen. No alpha hydrogen means no hyperconjugation. Yes. 
no hyper conjugation this is the first one okay let's see second one what is the second one what is the second one sigma ch sigma ch positive charge conjugation yes sigma ch positive charge conjugation positive charge conjugation okay yes it's occur in alkyl carbocation look at it's occurs it's occurs in alkyl carbocation it occurs in alkyl carbocation it occurs in alkyl carbocation okay let's see <coughs> example ch3 ch2 plus yes it undergoes sp2 it is sp3 how many alpha hydrogen it contain three alpha hydrogen yes okay let's second example ch3 ch plus ch3 it undergoes sp2 it undergoes sp3 sp3 yes how many alpha hydrogen it contains six alpha hydrogen yes let's see next example ch3 ch3 plus ch3 how many alpha hydrogen nine alpha hydrogen nine alpha hydrogen it is about a sigma ch positive charge sigma ch positive charge okay yes let's see third one what is the third one sigma ch odd electron conjugation sigma ch odd electron odd electron conjugation is yes. it's occur in alkyl free radical it's occur in it's occurs in alkyl free radical it occurs in alkyl free radicals okay let's take example for this ch3 ch2 okay free radical odd electron with ch how many alpha hydrogens are there three alpha hydrogens are there okay see ch3 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 how many alpha hydrogens are there with respect to free radical it contain nine alpha hydrogen three or three alpha carbons each carbon having three hydrogens so nine alpha hydrogen nine alpha hydrogen see <coughs> let's see easy to calculate the number of hyper conjugations very simple and number of number of alpha hydrogen okay number of alpha hydrogen equal to number of hyper conjugation it is equal to number number of hyper conjugation yes okay for example this structure is there ch3 ch2 free radical how many hyper conjugation structure three alpha hydrogen means it contain three hyper conjugative structure look at this structure look at this structure it contain how many hyper conjugation 1 2 3 3 3 3 alpha carbons and nine alpha hydrogen it contain nine alpha nine alpha hydrogen means nine hyper conjugation structures okay next number of resonance structures number of resonance structures number of resonance structures equal to number of alpha hydrogens plus 1 yes see number of number of alpha hydrogens plus 1 it is equal to number of uh, hyper conjugative structure okay number of hyper conjugative structures okay this is this is about types of hyper conjugation types of hyper conjugation let's see what are the applications of hyper conjugation yes we can discuss the applications of hyper conjugation applications of hyper conjugation 
let's see what are the applications of hyperconjugation <coughs> applications of hyperconjugation see first one stability of carbocation stability of carbocation stability of carbocation the stability of carbocation explained by mesomeric effect inductive effect and hyperconjugation effect okay <clears throat> if more hyperconjugation structure more the stability more hyperconjugate structure more stability so let's take example it is a tertiary carbocation okay look at this example it is secondary carbocation it is primary carbocation it is methyl carbocation yes <coughs> look at this first one tertiary carbocation how many alpha hydrogens are there see three alpha carbons it contain nine alpha hydrogen yes three plus three plus three nine it contains six alpha hydrogen yes it contain three alpha hydrogen yes it contain no alpha hydrogen means no hyperconjugation which is more stable nine alpha hydrogen is more stable because of more number of alpha hydrogen after that secondary after that primary yes <coughs> very simple and right? stability of carbocation is directly proportional to number of chemical structures and directly proportional to number of alpha hydrogens okay write one step one statement stability of stability of carbocation stability of carbocation is directly proportional to number of canonical structure number of canonical structures and directly proportional to number of alpha hydrogens number of alpha hydrogens okay let's see let's see the second example <clears throat> look at this example which is more stable and which is more stable see it is a tertiary carbocation it is secondary it is primary yes yes it is tertiary it is secondary it is primary as per alpha hydrogens see 3 plus 2 plus 2 5 6 7 here only 4 here only one yes which is more stable this is more stable yes okay <clears throat> let's see third example stability of carbon free radical also yes stability of carbon free radical stability of carbon free radical yes let's take example tertiary carbocation okay secondary carbocation primary carbocation and methyl carbo sir methyl sorry methyl carbon free radical ethyl carbon free radical secondary carbon free radical tertiary carbon free radical yes see it contain nine alpha hydrogens it contain six alpha hydrogen it contain three alpha hydrogen there is no alpha hydrogen yes which is more stable nine alpha hydrogen is a more stable yes next it explain it explain stability of 
alkenes also yes look at the example stability of alkene stability of alkene stability of alkene let's take example okay <coughs> ch3 ch double bond ch2 csp2 carbon sp3 carbon sp3 carbon means alpha carbon 3 alpha hydrogen look at this there is no ch okay there is no resonance sir there is no hyper conjugation <coughs> So this is more stable because of three alpha hydrogens with the hyper conjugation. Here no hyper conjugation. Okay, let's take this example. Yes. Yes, look at the examples. Look at this, look at this. It contain how many alpha hydrogens? 3 plus 3, 6. 6. Here contain 12 alpha hydrogens. Okay. It contain nine alpha hydrogen. Yes, it contain six alpha hydrogen. Yes, it contain he <coughs> here also six alpha hydrogens. See six alpha hydrogens. Here also three alpha hydrogen. No alpha hydrogen. No alpha hydrogen. This is the stability of alkene this is the stability of alkenes okay thank you